Hey kids, it's math here. Almost lost my pencil. It's math here. This video is our examples of concentration calcs. So what I have is a series of calculations and sample problems that we've already answered. And so I just want to walk through some of these with you and annotate them as we go. So in this first example, we want to know what's the mass percent when we have 20 grams of glucose, that's going to be our solute, added to 100 grams of water, that's our solvent. Now we don't care which one's our solute, which one's our solvent, because this is mass percent. All we want to do is take the part, put that in top, and the percentage of water, 100. Remember, the bottom, the numerator must be the total mass, mass of the solvent plus the mass of the solute. So in this case, 16.7% of this is going to be glucose. And then it's safe to say that 83.3% of this is going to be our water. Mass percent, very straightforward. Grams over grams, make it a percent, take it out to the 10th. That's what we said our accuracy was. Here's one that goes backwards in the second one. It says, how many grams of HCl are contained in 500 grams of a 12.5% solution by mass? And so in this case, what we're gonna do is set it up, make that 12.5%, make that 0.125, bring that on over, that way we can get rid of that multiplied by 100 thing. The total solution was 500 grams. So 500 times 0.125 is gonna give me 62 and a half grams. That's the mass of my HCl. All I did was cross multiply here. Okay, 500 times. You guys can end solve it, do whatever you want to solve that. But that's as simple as it is. It's just cross multiplying here. If 62 and a half of it is HCl, subtract from 500, that's going to be the remaining 437 grams. That is going to be the mass of the water. So that's mass percent. Now let's talk about molarity. This question asks us, what's the molarity of a solution containing 0.25 moles of NaCl, that's very nice, they gave it to us in moles already, in 750 mils of solution. Well, if this is already ready, you just have to take the 0.25, put it on top, watch that 750, that's in mils, we need it in liters, so slide it over, one, two, three, make it 0.75, that's why it's 0.750 liters, that's gonna give me 0.33, with a capital M, there's my capital M with my line underneath it, or you can just say 0.33 molar. And most bench chemists will know what you're talking about if you ask for a 0.33 molar solution. Okay, so there's those three. And I've got another page for you here. Here they are. I've got all your definitions for you up top too. Now this one's using molarity as well. And this is the what volume of 0.108 molar potassium iodide would contain 0.642. For some reason, we have a reaction that needs uh, 0.642 moles. And so we take the moles, we need to know how much of that solution are we gonna use. So set it up. 108 is the molarity. Put the 0.642 over the volume. Solve this out and find out you're gonna need 0.594 liters. This said what volume? It, you can leave it in liters. If you feel as though you really got to get involved and make that 594 mils, that's no biggie. It just said what volume. It didn't ask for. Had it asked for milliliters, we would have just slid in that decimal place over three and we would have 594 mils. That'll give me 0.642 moles of substance that we need. Okay. I got one more using molarity. As I say, it's very common. This is our calcium bromide. How many grams of calcium bromide are dissolved in 455 mils of a 0.39 molar calcium bromide solution? 
So I take my 455, turn that into liters right away. You don't need to show that, you can just do that. Just slide that decimal over three. Then take my 0 0.39, 0 0.39 equals the number of moles over 0.455. Cross multiply that and I'm gonna get 0.18 moles of calcium bromide. It's a good start, but it asks us for grams. So we're gonna look on the periodic table and find out that the mass of calcium bromide is 200 grams per mole. That's just, this is just the molar mass from the periodic. Okay, multiply that out. I'm gonna get 36 grams of calcium bromide. So if I take 36 grams, throw that into a flask, fill it up to a total volume of 455 mils, I'm going to have a 0.39 molar solution. Notice, I've got to make it a total volume of 455, not 455 mils of water. The mils of water have to be the, the total to make 455 of the solution. That gets a little bit confusing here, I know. Okay, hang with me. I got three more to do. This one says, what's the molality of a solution containing 25 grams of calcium chloride, 111 grams per mole, in 500 grams of water. Now we're in molality. Usually when you see grams of water, be thinking it's a molality type of question. So let's get the moles or the grams of calcium chloride into moles, divide by the molar mass, get 0.225, then divide that 0.225 by 0.5 kilograms. Where did that come from? Well, 500 grams is 0.5 kilograms. See, that's, that's just an equality that water has a density of one gram per mil. I know you guys wanna argue, well, it depends on the temperature and it does, but for the most part, water is close enough to one that we're gonna convert 500 grams, 500 mils, 0.5 kilograms, it's all going to be good. It's all going to be the same. Okay, put that in and divide. I get a 0.45 molal solution. Right now, we're just getting these solutions. We're going to use them later on. Okay, our next example is another molality, and this one is how many grams of stuff do we need to make this amount of solution? Well, I've got phosphoric acid here, 98 grams per mole, and it's contained in 250 grams of water in a 0.5 molal solution. So take the, the mass of your water, 0.25 kilograms, and what it is is 0.5 molal is the same as saying 0.5 moles per kilogram. That's gonna give me 0.125 moles of H3PO4. Multiply that by the molar mass, 98 grams per mole. They gave us that in the problem. We could have just looked it up on the periodic table, pretty easy. Multiply those two out and you get 12.25 grams. So if I take 12.25 grams, mix that up with 250 grams of the water, now it's the water that I'm gonna use. That, that 250 doesn't include the 12.25. I'm gonna have a 0.5 molal solution. And that's gonna have an effect on the solution and how it behaves. We're gonna talk about that in our upcoming video on colligative properties, don't worry. My last example here is a mole fraction. We gotta do one of these. It's not a very common type of problem. It just is, what is the mole fraction when you have 35 grams of sodium chloride in 100 grams of water? So I'm taking both of these, turn them into moles. Oh my gosh, no units. Smath, what are you doing here, buddy? Look, there are units right there. Okay, 6, 0.60 moles, 5.56 moles, then just put the part, the 0.60, over the total. That's going to give me the mole fraction. And that looks like a funny X. That's a chi. It's a lowercase chi. All right. That's the mole fraction of the sodium chloride. And then one minus that number will give me the mole fraction of the water. Mole fractions, once again, those are very similar to partial pressures. 
and that's why we introduce those here, they're partial pressures of solutions. Here are enough examples. This should be enough to get you started on the concentration calcs worksheet. If not, as always, if you have questions, feel free to email me. I'm Smath. I hope this video helped.